Hi, this is Green Dan, and you're looking at an experimental rotor for some wind turbine technology I'm working with. This rotor is 23 inches in diameter and holds 40 magnets. My goal is to manufacture a low RPM generator that works in low wind because uh, I live on a hill and I want to produce power 24 hours a day. So as long as it can you know, spin 60 to 120 RPMs for 24 hours, I'm happy. That's my goal. Low RPM, decent output. I'm going to show you this triangular shaped coil that's going to go on the stator. This triangular shaped coil has been wrapped 300 wraps with number 32 wire. And here's how it looks on top of a magnet. There we go. Then I have another coil that's also wrapped with number 32 wire and it has been uh, wrapped 300 times and here's how it looks on top of a magnet. And I did two other coils as experiments to check the power uh, output of theirs as well. This one's wrapped 300 times but it's with a little bit heavier gauge wire. It's number 28. And this coil is just a little bit larger than a magnet, so it ought to be interesting how uh, this turns out with the power output. Then I went with even a larger wire. This is number 22 wire, and it is pretty heavy duty. I decided to only wrap it 100 times because it was starting to get pretty big. And here's how it looks on top of a magnet. It's a little bit uh, smaller. So once this thing gets uh, up and running, I'm going to be testing the output of all four coils. I have a sneaky feeling these two here will be my standards. I've heard good things about triangular coils compared to oval coils and I will show you the results on the next video.